Okay, let's talk about functions and what they really return. Now, I've done a bunch of videos on functions before. I've got a whole playlist on functions, and I have talked about the return statement, but there's one thing that I left out. So I want to do a little bit of a deeper dive and explain uh, some of the things you might not be aware of when it comes to the return statements and functions. Now, we've got here um, top line. I'm going to be using console.log quite a bit, so this is just my shortcut to console.log. Um, now, this part right here, here is my function. I've wrapped my function in a set of parentheses, and I've got another set of parentheses after it. This structure is known as an iffy, an immediately invoked function expression. Basically, it's just going to make this function run immediately, and whatever its return value is, is going to be passed into this variable here, app. All right, now, if I run this code, undefined, this is what I get back. Now, why am I getting undefined? Well, you might look at this and say, well, there's a... A variable here but we're not returning anything from the function so the app's going to have undefined inside of it just because that's what variables do they have undefined if you haven't given them anything but we are actually assigning to it right here and just to illustrate this point i'm going to set the variable to null and then i'll do this so here if the function is doing nothing null is what i should see down below here so let's clear this off run it again and it's still undefined. And that is because every function, unless you intentionally give it a return statement, so if I come in here and I say return the number 42, now this value is going to be returned from my function and put into this variable. So the next time I run this, there it is, there's the 42. If I leave off the number, if I just put the keyword return, same sort of thing. I'm going to be getting an undefined coming back here. There it is, undefined. Because I haven't specified anything, so undefined is the value that's coming back from this function when it runs. Now, one of the cool things that you can do with JavaScript is the return statement can return anything. So numbers, strings, booleans, objects, arrays, and even functions. In JavaScript, functions are first-class citizens. They are allowed to be used for absolutely anything. They can be passed to a function. They can be returned from a function. So I can actually create a function here, like this. And I can return this function. So let's just do this. The returned function. Okay, we'll clear this out. We'll run it. There it is. Function. So this actually got returned and that means if I were to comment this line out if I were to take app and do that I returned a function this function got placed inside of here which basically means this is now a container for a function you stick a set of parentheses on the end of it it's going to run the function if this is the name of a function so if we run this Oh, got to save the change. There we go. It actually ran. So this function was returned from here. All right, so what's the use in doing this? Well, you will often find inside these ifies that people are returning an object. Inside that object, this is where your application is. This is where all the functions are. So I'm going to return an object. Inside of that object, I'm going to place a function. Let's say I'm going to have um, a function called buy beer. And we'll pass in an amount of money. And then if, not is finite, but if the money is greater than or equal to three, then we're going to let the person buy the, the beer. All right, so we'll take the money inside of here. And we'll say that uh, your change is money minus three. And here is your beer. Okay. Now, we're returning an object. So this buy beer function is now going to be inside of app. And that means I can right here, call app.buybeer. I'm going to pass in, say, $4. 
just to double check that this is working. We'll run it once. Yep, your change is one. Here's your beer. Okay, that worked. Now, inside of here, maybe I want to return something. The person's change. There we go. Here, I'm returning this amount of change. Else, I'm going to return everything that they gave me. Just like that. So if they don't give me enough, okay, there's the, the $4 running right here. And if we run this twice, we'll do it once with four and then once with two. Okay, so the first time I got the message, the second time I didn't get the message, but if I say let change, well, okay, we'll start off like that, and then we'll say change is equal to this. There we go. So I'm going to call the function one time, pass in $4. My change should be a dollar. And then the second time I call it, I should get my $2 back because I didn't, didn't have enough money. There we go. One and two. All right. Now, this shows that I can have multiple return statements inside my function, and I'm going to get different values. It doesn't even have to be the same thing. Like, if I did this, return blank. Now, I run this again. Undefined is the value that I get for the $2 because I didn't do this. So, let's say that instead of the change, we're going to return true or false. Person had enough money, they didn't have enough money. So we're returning true. Let's change this variable to reflect better what we're doing. So they had enough money. And the second time, they didn't have enough money. There it is, true and false. Okay, cool. So we are able to return different things. As soon as the first return statement is encountered, that is what the function is going to return. But if you're familiar with JavaScript, you know that there's actually a bunch of different falsy values, things that are considered equivalent to false. Re undefined is one of those falsy values. And remember at the beginning, we said a function that doesn't return anything returns undefined. So we can actually take this part right here and leave it off entirely. I'm going to move it down. I'm going to comment these three lines. I'll leave them there just so you can see it in the reference of the finished file. But what's happening now is here we're returning true because the person had enough money. If they didn't, we're not returning anything. So this part right here, we're not returning anything at all, which means undefined is coming back. And that's going to tell me whether or not the person had enough money. So we can, here, let's clear this out and say the result is going to be had enough. There we are. If had enough, we're going to write out they had enough money. Otherwise, not enough money. That's all we're doing. I'm putting this variable inside the if statement. It's going to be true up here if they did provide me three or more. We're supplying a four here. If they don't have enough money, the function is going to return undefined, and undefined is going to be treated as false, and we'll get our other message here. All right, so we'll run it once with the four just to make sure this is all working. There we go. Changes one dollar. Here's your beer. They had enough money. Great. That worked. Now, if I change this to a 2, which isn't enough money, there we go. I don't see the message inside of here, because this if statement's blocking that. The return statement is inside the if, so it's not being returned. There's nothing else in the function, so that means undefined is coming back. Here's the undefined, and we check that, and that's a falsy value, 
So here we go. This is the line that we get. All right, so I hope that all makes sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.